I shall be highlighting the clinical features and diagnosis of permeable sarcoidosis and to tell you how it presents in India. The learning objectives are to understand the variation in presentation of sarcoidosis in the Indian population, to recognize the protein radiological manifestation of this disease and to learn how to distinguish sarcoidosis in the midst of tuberculosis that we are surrounded with. I start with a case presentation. We had a 44-year-old male who was never a smoker, presented with a gradually progressive dyspnea for six years. He had dry cough for five years. He did not seek medical aid because the symptoms were not so troublesome. But for the last two months, he had a right-sided chest pain. His history was not significant and the general physical examination was unremarkable. On auscultation, we found bilateral vesicular breath sounds with bivesicular fine and inspiratory crepitations. This was the chest radiograph presentation. We had a, a, a right paratracheal uh, shadow and bilateral lymphadenopathy also. Fine reticular nodular shadows in both the lung feeds. And this would, in my opinion, be a suggestive of the 1, 2, 3 sign or the garland sign. The HRCT thorax, which is normally very helpful in these patients, showed uh, uh, the medicinal window revealed a non necrotic, non compressive lymph nodes, right peritracheal in the aortopulmonary lymph nodes. The lung window showed peribronchial beading, nodules in the subcleural distribution, uh, and there was a distinct alveolar pattern on the right lung fields. The complete fungal pulmonary function test was reported as normal, but if you have a look at the spirometry, it shows the inward curve over here and there is a lower limits of normal. So there was some degree of airway obstruction, but the lung volumes and diffusions were within normal limits. But when we come to the functional status assessment, the six minute walk test uh, revealed that the patient could walk only 40 meters uh, and the test had to be stopped after one minute and the desaturation occurred from 95% to 88%. The investigations which are a normal protocol in a patient who we think that is suffering from sarcoidosis, we did a mounted test which was not uh, positive. Serum ACE was elevated, serum calcium was within normal limits, vitamin D levels were uh, within, uh, was <coughs> reduced. But the LFT, KFT were within normal limits as also was the blood sugar.